All right, everybody. Uh, happy Monday. We are kicking this off with some uh, personal breaks that are going out to people that I have already watching and contacted through the email. Uh, so I have 26 breaks from this weekend. The first of those is for Frederick. Uh, Frederick is doing his first ever break with us. So beginner's luck is in full effect. What's up, Mike? Uh, and I am excited for Mr. Frederick uh, to jump in and hang out with us live. He said he is watching. Uh, so what we have here is Hit Parade autograph basketball jerseys from 1920, Series 23. I'm going to kick it off with box 99 out of a hundo. What's up, Dundees? How you doing? So we are going to move fast and furious through all of the breaks I have. Uh, but we are going to highlight all the awesome things that are in them. So fear not. What's up, Mr. Hodge? No one has more hits than Hit Parade. That is going to be Mr. Jerry West. You may have heard of him. Uh, a nice custom jersey of Mr. West. Booyah, great start. All right, next up is 10 out of 100. And that is Markel Fultz. This is an official Nike NBA jersey. So dig that, man. It is Upper Deck Authentic. Yep, I dig the inscription. 62 out of 100. My voiceover? Didn't know I had a voiceover. Uh, wow, here we go. How about this? Official Hit Parade Hotbox. Well, my oh my. If I can get some focus, there it is. All right, let's see what that's going to bring you. Mo Bamba. That is an official NBA, uh, officially licensed NBA jersey. And in with him is Mr. Portzingis. Christoph's Portzingis. And also an officially licensed jersey. How about that? for your first break. Well, that was number 62 out of 100. Congratulations, my friend. There you go. What's up, Ja? Hey, Ryan, how you doing? Lights, camera, Cooper. What's up, man? Jared, good to see you as well. So uh, listen, everyone, here is what's going on. Hey, Jesse. Uh, I have 26 personal breaks that I have to get through. Uh, so there will be no personals that I'll be taking new for probably the first hour to two hours. Um, I will show the list once I've gotten through about 75% of what's sitting behind me. I've been in contact with about 50% of the people. Uh, so these should move quickly. Uh, but you're going to have to be patient because I literally don't have room to take any orders. I have my rolling rack full. I have the table next to me full and the table behind me full. So just an FYI. 
What a great way to start it, though. What's up, Bourbon? What a uh, what a great way to start the week. That was solid. <coughs> Excellent. What is up, fresh bacon? <laughs> Dig it. Frederick sent me an email says he loves my accent. I bet you Frederick has a phenomenal accent as well. Uh, Mike, I got something for you. I did see something. So I will get to it uh, as soon as I get through the ones that I already have up. <laughs> Jesse, that's rough. That is rough. All right, next up. Oh, goodness gracious. We'll be doing that in parts. That's too heavy. You're welcome. All right, this next one is for Joseph. We have some mystery boxes. Ah, uh, there's four of them. They are right here. We're going to take them out one at a time. Hit Parade Mystery Box 2020 Spooky Edition Series 2. It's 30 out of 50. IDW Mars Attacks Art Gallery. Dig that right there. Right off the bat. Hellraiser. Hell on Earth. It's the cube. What's inside? What's in the box? Come on. What's in the box? I don't know. But you know what? Uh, it's for you to open. The Purge. Big Pig. From the Purge election year. Another little mystery box for you to open. It's the In Memoriam Walking Dead. These are characters that all died in the series. And it even kind of shows how they died. Johnny Hodge says, do not open that box. And how about Walter Peck? From Ghostbusters. It's Ghostbusters Select. Deluxe action figure with diorama background. My goodness, my son would like a lot of those. He's not a Walter Peck fan, although the actor is phenomenal who played him. All right, not too shabby for box number one. Not too shabby at all, as a matter of fact. Yeah, George. <laughs> yes. Yep. A classic line. Classic line. Next up, Spooky Mystery, five out of fifty. What's up, Locke? 
Thank you, Mike, for answering that question. I didn't get it till just now. Ah, Jared, you thought it was literally a voiceover. No, buddy. This is what I sound like. Uh, the Purge election year. How about Betsy Ross? Arguably the scariest of the ones available. Ah, that's no bueno lock. I hope you're okay, buddy. Relax. Turn the volume down so I don't startle you. Have your favorite frosty beverage. And uh, if they gave you muscle relaxers, do not have a frosty beverage. Because speaking as someone who used to have to take muscle relaxers regularly, alcohol and muscle relaxers do not mix. So just a free FYI. Whatever pills they give you, don't drink. Uh, I'm going to say that's Stripe. The evil gremlin. You know what? I'm fairly certain. I'm almost positive. I dated someone who looks exactly like that in the 90s. I wonder if she modeled for this. I'm going to say yes. Uh, another mystery pig. Yeah, man. Well, listen, cars are replaceable. You're not. So as long as you're okay. And how about the butcher knife from Halloween? Two, to be exact. Hello, Melissa. How are you doing? Ryan, what's up with you? There you go. All right, let's keep it running. Then we're going to move to uh, Hit Parade 2020 Mystery Box Movie Edition Series 2. It's going to be 11 out of 50. We've got gel pen. Uh, the Invincible Iron Man. It's a Zach hot beverage container. Uh, lock, it is. You are correct. George Weasley from Harry Potter. Hello, George. Wizarding word, Harry Potter. Very good. You can tell by the ginger hair that that is a Weasley. Also by the end me down clothes, but since he's the oldest, not so end me down are they. Brilliant. All right, how about a dark brown stress ball? Well, hello, Mel. How is James doing? And look, the other ones were Batman, Superman. These ones are Civil War. Ah, uh, Bumblebee. It's a fat head. Stick it on your wall or ceiling, as long as you're not popcorn ceiling. And you can stare at Bumblebee all night. Aquaman, arguably the most popular and by no means uh, character with the biggest ability plot hole and usefulness. It's Aquaman. I'm going to uh, assume it's submersible, but the uh, car's made of metal. I wouldn't try it in real life. And last item... Why, that would be 
Capitan America. There you are. A nice mug for your bellies and coffee. I mean hot tea. Herbal, herbal hot tea. That's what it's for. Listen, the only thing better than gel pens is more gel pens. That is actually uh, a scientific fact. Uh, because I read it somewhere in, in si science. I read it in science. Hey, Ricky, how you doing? All right, last box. 42. It's the answer out of 50 for movie mystery box backed by science Wally World Dad Wally World Dad there it is there's your pine glass Clark would be jealous all right, it's a pocket pop, so Hulk doesn't smash. Hulk smash. There you go. Listen, running out of pens? Don't. Don't worry at all. Uh, this is a bumblebee. You can keep one in the bedroom, one in the living room. That way, no matter where you go, you've got a bumblebee. How about Alice from Through the Looking Glass? And Simba. Everything the light touches is your kingdom. There you go. Uh, oh, just chilling on the bottom. Uh, Indiana Jones, The Further Adventures of Indiana Jones, number two from uh, 1982. Uh, All right, there you go. Dig it. Uh, Ryan, I have no clue what you're talking about, man. What cards? Hey, there you are, man. You are very welcome. I did not know you were watching, but I'm glad you were. All right, there it is. Lots of good stuff, man. Listen, if you guys aren't aware, if you guys haven't done the math, those are great values. That's why they don't stick around for very long. <laughs> Listen, you've got gel pens of every color. What's going on, Michael? How you doing? Uh. All right, the next one's going to be for Grant. Ah, 
I'm sorry, Michael. We're trying, man. Trying to get that one for you. Aye, right, this is for Grant. Uh, Hit Parade Autograph Full Size Batting Helmet 2020 Series 6. It's 46 out of a hundo. No one has more hits than Hit Parade. Man, doing pretty good. Oh, thanks, McGinnis. I appreciate you, man. Uh, listen, I don't need a cheat sheet to know this autograph, and you shouldn't either. Say it loud, say it proud. It's Batman's sidekick, Robin. Yeah, <laughs> he checks like, uh, Aaron Judge. <laughs> no. <laughs> there you go, Robin Young. Dig that batting helmet. That's a nice one. I mean, listen, if you're going to get Milwaukee, uh, it's going to be the guy I want. I'm going to argue that that's going to be the guy I want. Yes, have they had better players? Briefly. But consistency, Robin is the Milwaukee man. Why, thank you. Uh, so apparently, according to one source, and I don't know how reliable the source is because I'm not up to date on baseball sources, uh, but apparently the Marlins knew that those players uh, had come in contact with people uh, with COVID and were aware of it and still uh, proceeded. So that is where the question stems from is allegedly the Marlins knew that they were going to have some positives and still decided to play anyway. Um, which opens the idea, do they face disciplinary and or legal? Uh, Ryan, yeah, yep. Yellick is, uh, Yellick is fantastic. I'll wait to the end of his career to compare him to Robin, though. But yeah, Yellick is. Right now, he's going to be your best Mariner. Yeah, yeah, ET. Not a uh not a good look, man. Not a good look. Uh Joshua, yeah, they have an office here. And we handle their distro. All right, give me a second. I just got to send that over to Grant real quick. Thanks, Martin. Uh, Martin, you're up next, buddy. You are up next. Let me find you in this mess. Guys, look at it. This is not an exaggeration. So, uh, this is full. The table behind it is full. I don't know if you can see through to the table behind it. And the side table is full. So, I am going to knock these out as fast as I can so I can start taking new 
Uh, new orders. But I just ask a little patience on this Monday. Call it an early birthday gift to me. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Yeah, uh, Bourbon, I got one for you as well. I'll uh, I'll toss you in the queue, buddy. All right, Martin, if you're still in the chat, let me know, man. We'll get you knocked out. I'm going to send you an email as well because I'm reading. Ah, there you are. Uh, what do you want to see first? All right, sounds good. I love, I love these. These are great. We're gonna, we're gonna enjoy that. Uh, that list is, if anybody hits those, I spin the wheel, and you got, you would get the prize that the wheel lands on. All right, this is from Martin. We're going to kick it off with 2020 Tops Archives 6 Series. Still hunting for Hank. Still hunting for Hank. Still hunting for Hank. However, Luis Gonzalez, out of just 34, dodges. Then we're going to move to 19 Marvel Fla well, Flare Marvel. Don't let me get that twisted. It's my upper deck. I don't think I've opened 19 Flare yet. I know I've opened, I think, 17. I may have, but it might have been a long time ago. Either way, let's see. Sorry about that. That was my fault. Bedlam. Spider Girl. Congratulations. You have received a card with a manufactured patch. Pieces of Flair. Uh, Incredible Iron Man. Number two. That's pretty awesome. Nice little start there. Capitan Marvel. Flarium. Okay, so that's an insert in and of itself as well. Master Mold, Starbrand, the Red Hulk. How about out of 88, Lucky 8's Moon Boy with that uh, metallic effects? Something that Upper Deck loves to do with Marvel is give it that metal effects. They've called it a couple of different things over the years. Metal effects. They've called it gem metal effects, gem effects. Either way, it looks good. 
something in here that looks pretty good too. Black Knight, Ms. Marvel, Grand Master. I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, looks nothing like the movie. The movie played by a dashing and handsome Jeff Goldblum. Nighthawk, how about Power Blast Hawkeye? I love the shades. Dig that. Dig that a lot. Flarium. That's Shuri. From Black Panther fame. Ooh, hello, nurse. Shiok, Callisto, Triple Diamond, Wolverine. What is up, Jimmy Howlett? Boom. I mean, I like diamonds. Six out of 30. Uh, one for each claw. I like it. One diamond for each claw in each hand. Even better. That's an eBay 101. God, I hate that term. Even saying it as a joke kind of makes me throw up in the back of my mouth a little bit. eBay 101. Ugh. I, there you go, man. I don't, I mean, how much more can we get out of this box? And then on top of that, we have another one. Wonder Man. Taskmaster. I love Taskmaster. How about a die-cut totemic team, Star-Lord? So I have a feeling you would be able to stack all of these cards on top of each other, and they would make a totem. That is my guesstimate. Star-Lord being the top one. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. <ja. laughs> He's like, yeah, that definitely doesn't get sold. <laughs> That's in the PC. Through the Ages, Bronze Age Thor. Nice little metal effects card. And a Gamora to boot. Don't boot Gamora. She'll kill you. Gamora doesn't mess around. Uh-oh, I see something totemic. U.S. Agent. There's Namor. He's in the middle of the totem pole. A different totem pole. Gonna assume each team has their own totem. Antimatter Blackheart. That, uh, listen, uh, I'm not sure it's coming across as pretty as it really is. But when you get this in your hand, uh, this is a good looking card. Here, it's a lot more complicated than the camera's picking up. So take my word for it. You're going to want a hard look at that one. Singularity Jubilee. And Thor. The Thor we're going to be seeing a lot more coming up. In the form of Jane Foster in the movies. All right, we got another one. Let's see if that was just a fluke, really good box. 
or if the product is really that consistently good. That's what I like about opening more than one. Let's get more of a sample size. What's up, Dan? The yeah, that's right, Namor, the Marvel Aquaman. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. I don't want to disrespect him. Uh, here you go. Here is your other manufactured patch, and it's a doozy. Hulk 377 from January of 91. Uh, okay. That's interesting. Guess you'll see in a second. Stained glass magneto. Uh... There you go. A little shows off a little bit better how good looking that is. Very nice. <laughs> that one is not going to have the dropsies. <laughs> nope. Uh, sketch card alert. And also our bounty, the first 101, Aurora herself, Storm by Adam and Becca Cleveland. That's a nice one. That looks good. How rare is it? It's one of one. There, there is only one. It's literally drawn on the card. That is a piece of art. Piece of art. Literally. Literally. You know what, Dundees? I'm going to give you an option. I'm going to give you an option. For your bounty, and this is the first time ever that this has been offered, for your bounty, you can either spin the wheel and uh, now that I look at the wheel... It hasn't been updated. Let me update this for you. Let's update that with something a little more enticing than spin again. Let's go with... Let's replace spin again with a $50 store credit. You can either spin the wheel or I can take a fresh twenty eighteen playbook jumbo pack. And we can call that your bounty. So, do you take the pack or do you take the wheel? He said it, take the pack. There you go, man. A fresh 2018 NFL playbook value pack. 25 card for you. How about that for a curve? Ain't nobody saw that coming. 
Nobody saw that coming. All right. Moving right along to the rest of this box. Thor Odinson. Power Blast Killmonger. Man Thing. Totemic Team Big Bertha. Through the ages, the Copper Age Cable. DC Aholics for the win. What is going on? Hellbolt. Good old stilt man, because why not? Falcon. Totemic teams. Ooh, matter Colossus. It's the opposite of the animator. It's matter. His antimatter is Juggernaut. Hmm, interesting. Uh, it's good, man. I've been good. We've got another yes. Singularity, Black Widow. All right, if I had to categorize that break, I would uh, place that under fun. Yeah, let's let's talk about how nice those boxes were. Uh, very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. So much so that I needed a bigger boat. I'm going to peek at how much those cost. Oh, dude, that's a great price for those. Those are under $100. Those are under 100 That is a yes. That is a, that is a good value box. Uh, that is a good value box. All right, let me keep moving. Mike. Let me know you're ready. Uh, Bruce, I'm not going to be taking any orders for at least, uh, at least an hour to an hour and a half. I still have about 18 breaks I have to get through before I can take any more.
What is up, Doyle? Premier first, and then buybacks. Hi, this is for Mike. We're going to kick things off with 2017-2018 Upper Deck Premier Hockey. If you're not familiar with Premier Hockey, think of it as the Cup Light. Except for it actually pays its rent on time. Matt, that is correct. Oh, Doyle rules. Oh, this is a, this is a good pack right here. This is a good pack right here. I feel it in my bones. And I would be right. I would be right. 249, Austin Matthews. Anders Bjork, three ninety nine. Out of two ninety nine, how about this nut little uh, the patch right here? Karyanov, patch auto. Out of ninety nine, Connor Sheary. Oh, man. Oh, you. I am so glad that Doyle is here to witness this because he always talks about how he misses the really big hits. Well, he's not missing this one. Premier Signature Booklets. How about Mr. Paul Coffey? I'll take it. I'll take a little coffee. I like it. You should too. Doyle went to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, buddy. There you go. There you go. See, I like that book is thin enough that it actually fits in a proper sleeve. Travis Konecki. Con ah, you know what it is. Out of 40. And Alex. <laughs> Not going to try it. For Carolina. And then we move to buybacks by Upper Deck. You may have heard of buybacks from about every single day of breaks for the last two months, or uh, from the 13 or 14 first time Ricky ever bought these. All 13 or 14 of the first time that he did. Well, here's two. Steve Sammer, 199. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. How about a Malkin out of two? Yup. That's a Malkin out of two. Cue the chat explosion now. Uh, you know, Mike... I feel like, I feel like this is special to you. I feel like this one is a little bit nicer to you than anybody else. Mike, what's your PC? Who do you like? <laughs> there you go, buddy. 
Oh, man, you know what's up. You know what's up, real one. Mark andre Fleury, 199. Uh, speaking of, uh, Romaldo, I got one for you, too. You will not believe this! You will not believe this! Out of two, Mario Lemieux! Can you dig it? Two for two, PC Penguins! That, my friend, is bonkers! Absolutely bonkers. What are the chances that both of them are out of two? You know, with hits like this, you'd think it was your birthday tomorrow. There you go, man. Listen, I feel like the next one would be a Crosby, but I think I've already pulled him for you. Right? And Brian, that's his PC. That's what makes it so much more awesome is he is a Bergman when it comes to hockey. Unbelievable. And I'm happy 106 of you got to see that because that was amazing. That was amazing. All right, man, that video is going up right now. I'm sure you're going to watch that one again. I'm sure that's a, not the last time you're going to see it. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Undead, my name is DC, my friend. But uh, thank you. I appreciate it, man. I'm, uh, I'm happy you're here. Uh, all right. So, Romaldo. I'm, I'm bumping yours because we're going to switch gears. I want to get some football in here. Let's get some football in here. We have an 8 o'clock break. Uh, so that's about eh, three minutes ago. We are going to knock yours out, and then we're going to do the Chronicles break. Because this one is pretty quick. Ah, Mike, man, I do what I can. I do what I can. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I can't can't believe it's not butter all right so right after this is going to be the scheduled chronicles break and let me just actually queue up the spreadsheet so we can do a nice seamless transition for you there we go You canceled this order. All right, never mind. That's a canceled order. All right, let's jump immediately to Chronicles. is one less break I've got to burn through. 20 
2019 Panini Chronicles Football 4-Box Stephen Adams Card World Live 8-Spot Random Division Break. Late Nights with DC. I am DC, and let me tell you, it has already been volcanic up in the Live Lounge. Now, let's keep it going. We're going to random the divisions eight times. I'm going to take all of you beautiful people and I'm going to random you five times. All right, Christopher L., you've got the Wests, both of them. You got Kanye and Kim. So that's going to be the Broncos, the Chiefs, the Raiders, Chargers. How about uh, you're also getting the Cardinals, San Fran, Seattle, and the Rams. I'll let you figure out who's Kim and who's Kanye. Pete P., you have the AFC South and the NFC North. That's going to be the Titans, the Texans, the Colts, the Jags. Uh, the... Bears, Lions, Packers, and Vikings. Mark F, NFC South. Falcons. Panthers, Saints, and Bucks. Uh, Lawrence, you have the AFC North, which will get you the Bengals, the Browns, the Steelers, and the Ravens. Eric T, grabbing the NFC East. You're getting them boys, the G-Men, Philly, and Washington to be determined. While Joe C grabs the AFC East, the Jets, the Patriots, the Dolphins, and the Bills. All right, Chris is excited. He's got his cards. <laughs> there you go, Justin. Uh, Matt, I'll take a look at it afterwards. Let me rifle through this and we'll see. Here it is, Chronicles Football. In all its glory. Give me a second. I'm just going to save your order number real quick. There we go. Uh, you know, Matt, off the top of my head, I believe I do have something for you. Greg Olson, out of 49. There's a nice little patch. Hometown hero. Both patches. Uh, get another Chase Young. Okay. I'll be more than happy to do that. So that is going to go out to the Panthers. Out of 199, Philly Philly. The stash. Chris wants a Kyler. I say we all pull together and make sure a Kyler comes out. Let's send all those vibes, man. Out of 199, Drew Blees to the Saints. Let's send out those vibes for Chris. He is a Cards fan. And he wants a Kyler. Let's do it. Why not, right? Why not? Ha ha ha! Munger's like, I am opening up a package of Pop-Tarts pretending they're cards. I'm ex I'm inspiring. Oh yeah, baby! The kicker! Harrison Butker. Everybody loves the special teams auto. KC, there you go. That card is savage, out of 99. Headed to the Bay of Green. Debo. Man. 
Megatron 199, Dak Attack. The other, Josh Allen. Dwayne and his target, Terry. Out of 75, that's Mr. Drew Locke. Heading out to Denver. Denver with an A. Denver. Josh Allen, 49. AFC East, Buffalo. Peyton Manning. Wait a second. Chase Young's not in this, man. Wrong year, buddy. I think you did that on purpose to see if I was paying attention. And it's, I'm uh, one box behind the uh, mental capacity to have caught that on time. But I see what you did there. Benny Snell. Out of 99, the Berg. Daniel Jones. I see what you did there. And that's not funny. Ah, N, one, two, three, four, five, six, A, B, seven, eight. Uh, no thanks, buddy, I already am. You are barking up the wrong tree. All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, you did. You did absolutely see one. Kareem Hunt out of 199. Browns. Mac Attack out of 199. Daniel Jones. Danny Jones. Followed by Miles Sanders again. Twice. Easton Stick. No, he didn't. Or at least I should say he won't. Wah, wah. DK Metcalf out of 99. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There you go. It is not Kyler, but it is DK. Miles Sanders. Another DK. The Stash. I see what you did there. Kareem Hunt, another kicker auto. Ha! Ah, that is, uh, yikes. Yikes. Max Crosby, out of 49. To the Raiders. The Raiders. Yep, not a good look for him. I am surprised uh, that he was picked up by another team. Amari Cooper, double patch out of 49. Goes to them boys. AP, out of 199 of the Vikings variety. Last pack of box two. Out of 99, Nikki Bosa. To San Fran. All right, box three. Miles Boykin out of 10. There you are, Ravens. Kyler in three is his call. 
Ottawa 199 Marquise Brown, and that's what the card looks like when you don't stamp the lower left-hand corner, in case you were curious. Uh, Marsh at minimum an hour and a half right now. Devin Bush out of 49. DK Metcalf. Damn. Damn. Ah, this man is a superhero. Alejandro Villanueva. Uh, fun fact, he was actually in the Special Forces before he played in the NFL. So, true American hero right there. Google it. Danny Jones. Motor Singletary. And the Stash. Out of 99, Josh Rocket Arm Allen. That's misleading. Rockets are accurate. Uh, cannon Arm Allen. Because cannons are notoriously inaccurate. Barry. With that said, he is my starting dynasty quarterback. Uh, Marsh, it's probably going to be an hour before I show anybody the list. Not until I get through these. DK Metcalf, look at that RPA. Triple RPA. R triple PA. It's of the momentum variation out of only 25. What's up, Grand Slam? How you doing, partner? Out of 99, motor. All right, we are on the final box. A. Briggs just hit career number 100. I love it. Thanks for the update, man. I love my Astros. Uh-oh. Debo Samuel. Out of 99. Crown Royal. Silhouette. And Debo kept it on the sticker this time. Debo can get a little excited. But he kept it centered just for you. Listen, NFC West is killing it. Out of 99, the love. Noah Fant out of 75. The Terminator. Ryan Kerrigan for the Washington to be determined. Stash out of 49, Drew Brees. Oh, something big. Mohammed Sanu out of 10.
AFC East. You know they're going to have to lean on him. Uh, 199, Zeke. Comeback kid. Kyler. Ann Easton stick. Out of 52, Rashawn Gary. All right. First group of the day in the books. Matt, are you ready? Uh, Johnny Hodge, you're on deck. Uh, Bourbon, you're up too. Hey, Chris, take care, man. Thanks for joining me and congratulations. Feel free to hang out again. Uh, Matt, are you still here? Uh, no, Austin, I have yours. I will add you to the rotation. Uh, Matthew, go in twice. All right, uh, Johnny, let me knock out Bourbon's first. Bourbon's is actually just one comic book real quick. Uh, so Bourbon, if you're ready, let me, this is the book from uh, Friday. All right, so this is actually a holdover from Friday. Uh, we didn't have an extra one to pop in there, so 21 out of 50. Hit Parade, Graded Comic 2020 Mystery Edition, Series 14. Survey says... Black Canary, number four. It's from 1992. It's graded a 9.4. Boy, that place looks familiar in the background. <laughs> the last Boy Scout. My man. Hi, dude. There you go. That is why it's a mystery. Thanks, Undead. All right, so these are headed. 
headed to you. Ow. All right, Mr. Hodge. Hodgey. Hodgemeister. Hodge Master Flex or Funk Master Hodge. Mystery box first for fun. Okay. Woo. Let's not do that. Uh, Michael, before it starts, I will random all of the, uh, all of the divisions live. So you will know exactly who you have when you tune in. Um, I do all of it live, man. You are witness. All right, Johnny Hodge has a pretty awesome break here. It kicks off with Hit Parade Mystery Box 2020 Pop Culture Edition. Series 1, 22 out of 50. 22 is his favorite number, he said. So let's see uh, if it's also a lucky number. I like it. That's what I'll tell you. I like it. From the Muppets. It's a Muppets tumbler. Dr. Bunsen and Meeper. Dig it. Dig it. Ah, it's not a pint glass. It is a tumbler. It is pretty big. I bet you could fit a pint in there. Uh, try it. Let me know. The Gopher from Caddyshack. That would be the flash, and that would be a snapback. For those sunny days. Wonder Woman. Yeah, all right. How about the child? There you go. An overload of cuteness. The child. All right, what do you want to see next, man? Yeah, unfortunately, it's not Baby Yoda. They haven't released its name yet. But we know it's not Yoda. All right, what, what's next, Johnny? Ten. Nineteen twenty upper deck series two. Ten. Now typically we don't do these, but I'm making an ex exception. Uh because it's pretty quick. And there's only one of them.
I-1920 Series 2 will do the OPG Glossy last. Corey Perry. Nygaard. Gusev. Young Guns. Blaze of Glory. Single Canvas How about Kirby Doc and his rookie jersey? Kirby Duck, UD Portrait, Julien Gautier, Timishov. Kyushev. The checklist. Nineteen twenty OPG Glossy <laughs> It's always It's always Barrett Hayton, there's a good one. How about Sandine? Oh yeah, and this guy, Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes has eh, the tiniest ding on the corner the tiniest ding on both top corners but don't worry the other ones are fine Don't know how you would report to 10 because there's no numbers on them. Uh, nothing. If anything, that is the only number that's on there, but that is not going to help you any. All right, next up. Hit Parade Graded Comic 2020 Mystery Edition Series 13. Uh, 34 out of 50. Captain America 350, supersized, 350th issue. From 1989, it's a 9.2. Captain America and Red Skull appearance. Steve Rogers returned to being Captain America.
33 out of 50. Silk, number one from 2016. It's a 9.4. And 35 out of 50. The Amazing Spider-Man number 219. It's an 8.5 from 1981. Gray Gargoyle and Matt Murdock appearance. Good old Matty Murdock. Everybody needs a lawyer. Even superheroes. Uh, Austin, Austin, are you still hanging around? Austin R, I have yours if you're ready. There you are, buddy. All right, yours is actually two. We're just going to do them both at the same time, obviously. All right, what do you want to see first, the onyx or the boxes? Oh, thanks, Joe. I will add you to the rotation, man. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate it. Yeah, if you've got them, uh, if you've got them in from before I arrive, let me know you're here and I get you in rotation. We'll do the boxes first, okay? And then we've got four onyx to get through. After that, uh, yeah, Joe, you're right next to me. I got you, buddy. All right, this one is for Austin. We've got two of these. Hit Parade Mystery Box 2020 Spooky Edition Series 2, 41 out of 50. Donald Duck in Halloween Town. Bride from the Purge election year. Santa Claus.
Friday the 13th vinyl. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. And that is for you to open yourself. Hello, Sheriff. I still can't believe they made her without the blade. But there she is. Mars Attacks, number four. One down, one to go. Your other one is 8 out of 50. From Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth, it's the cube. I wonder... What's in the cube? Mike! It's another Santa. Feed me, Seymour! me from Little Shop of Horrors Seymour Krellborn uh, Undead there actually are yeah From Puppet Master 3, the Full Moon Cards Limited Edition movie cards from 1991. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. These are his glasses and they're adult size. So feel free to wear them, take a photo, and uh, tag us on your Instagram so that we can laugh at you. Or give you a thumbs up. I mean, you don't know. <clears throat> it's a mystery. You know what, Heat Check? That's a very good possibility. It could be thumbs up while laughing at you. I concur. That could be it. All right, now we're going to move to some Onyx Vintage. We got four of them. Good luck, man. That's going to be a Louis Patino Red Ink Auto out of 10.
I like it because it's on card. Uh, you do, Tom. I've got you coming up. I will slot you in. Uh, stay tuned because it'll be pretty quick. Mason Martin. You're welcome. Marco Luciano. All right, last one. Gavin Lux. There it is. There's Mr. Lux. Sure, Jesse, go for it. Um, that's a, that's a very good question. It's just a perfect personal preference. If you got a stellar rookie, uh, there's usually one that you can find in every price point. So there's so many varieties because there's different price points to get them for and thus different values. Uh, yeah, it will. Jesse, it really does. What's up, Greek? All right, Joe. Excellent, Austin. Get that money, dude. Get that money. Uh, Matthew M., did you return? All right, we got some UD buybacks for Joe. Can it be possibly as good as the ones we pulled for Mike? The heat check. <laughs> Austin Matthews out of 50. Seven out of 10. That's Eric Stahl. Do I have a certain product I like opening the most? Oh, yeah. Uh, I love opening Flawless. Unfortunately, it's super expensive, so I don't open a lot of it. Uh, just something about the briefcase that's awesome. Uh, but a realistic product that I like to open. Um, something that people actually buy that I enjoy. Really making me think. Um... Obsidian football, I like. Thomas Chabot. Out of 25. 
Alex Debrinkat, rookie. I do love Star Wars. Uh, you know what? I will tell you, the, one of the products I love to open more than any other product is Marvel Premiere. Because I get to look at not one, but two beautiful one-of-a-kind pieces of art in every tin. So my answer will be Marvel Premiere. How's that for a curveball? Uh, they do, Ja. I don't very often get my hands on it, but I have had my hands on it, and it has done well. You're very welcome. Biz, are you ready? Uh, cool dude. Yes, and in about ten minutes, we will be rocking the obsidian. Romaldo, that is an old Actually no, they shipped that one out. You got doiled. All right, this one is for the biz. Panini Contenders Draft Picks 2020. Uh, will I be doing the 1920? Uh, yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, I did it an hour ago. The video is up. All right, good luck, friend. So, Tom, who are you looking for, man? Anybody in particular? Uh, Dustin, the great thing is every single person in the chat is awesome and they'll tell you all of about it. A uh, Tua or a CD. Okay, how about uh, Nick Chubb Cracked Ice out of 23? And then we'll immediately go into a Tyler Johnson out of 15. I don't even think this is supposed to be in here. like you to get both. How about Tua and CD? 
Lynn Bowden Jr. There's a CD followed by a Tua, followed by a Tua, followed by a CD. I mean, I can't make that up. That just happened. <laughs> that just happened. And thank you so much, chat, for handling those questions. I appreciate you guys. Gabriel Davis, who went to Buffalo. Doiled is like leaving your cookies in the milk too long. <laughs> I love it. Jake Breland. Gotta get a spoon to fish the Doyle out. <laughs> Yikes. Now you realize Doyle has uh, nothing to do with whether or not it gets shipped to you. That is just the scapegoat in this case. Darius Anderson. Out of 20, you got two cracked ice cards in one box. Two cracked ice in one box. That is the reality of that. That's kind of ridiculous. All right, friend, there you go. You're very welcome. We're going to roll right into the first off the line Onyx basketball break. I'm sorry, Obsidian, not Onyx. Ricky, uh, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, one, two, three.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, yeah. All right, everybody. Uh, you know what? No, Ricky, listen. I'm going to do it after this break because about eight people have asked. Um, I'm finally, I only have eight more left for personal breaks. So that means I knocked out 18 of them. Um, I'm going to do it afterwards because one, this is a quick break. And two, there's going to be about 10 people telling me what to take off the list with all the purchases. And I don't want to hold this one up. So let me knock this out, man. We'll get it done. I promise. Speaking of 2019, 2020 Panini Obsidian Basketball, first off the line, two box, Stephen Adams Card World, live six spot random division break. It's late nights with DC and I am DC, which means I got to do the randoming. So here we go. Nine. Uh, it's got to be three or higher. That's a house rule. So we're going to go six. Brett, you have the Pacific. That's the Warriors, Clippers, Kings, Suns, Lakers, Barry, Atlantic. That's going to be Raptors, Celtics, Knicks, Nets, 76ers, Michael A, Central, Cavaliers, Pistons, Pacers, Bucks, Bulls, Stephen C, the Northwest, Jazz, Trailblazers, Thunder, T-Wolves, and Nuggets, Dakota, Southwest, Spurs, Grizzlies, Rockets, Mavericks, Pelicans, and the Southeast goes to Jonathan Y, that is the Hawks, Wizards, Hornets, Magic, and Heat. Yeah, <laughs> Munger, uh, you know what? If that is your dying wish, man, I will do that for you. Just make sure it's many, many, many years from now. All right, here we go, Obsidian, first off the line. Good luck, everybody. Jokic, Winslow, uh, not bad, Steph Curry out of 75, goes out to Golden State, Grant Williams out of 16, Atlantic, out of 75, Mike Miller to the Grizz. Out of 30, Bernard King. That's a New York Nick right there. Keldon Johnson, San Antonio. Uh, Dustin, yeah, man. I've already opened a lot of them. And I'm sure I'll be opening a lot more as soon as Ricky sees the list. Jalen Brown. For the Hawks, Jeff Teague out of 75. OKC's Isaiah Roby. Out of 16.
out of 10. For the bullets. All right, trivia time. The bullets are now blank. No pun intended. The bullets are now... Oh, uh, pff, man, you're going to make me say your name. Shid, you are the first with the answer. Out of 10, Al Horford, Philly. Cody Martin and Dylan Brooks. And that's the end. All right, so that is the last group break of the evening. Uh, we have about eight more personal breaks that are yet to be broke from earlier today. I am about to show you guys the list. The list is going to include two items that came out two hours ago. Uh, anything that's on this list, I'm just going to ask that you tell me in the chat so that I can take it out of circulation and we don't oversell any of the products so if two people buy the same thing but one of them put it in the chat and the other didn't guess what the person in the chat's gonna get it the other person waits till tomorrow uh the new items are 2020 graded note series 2 and the 2020 Mystery Box Star Wars, The Force Edition. So, uh, Graded Note Series 2 and The Force. Have at it. Yeah, Munger, I've had that happen a few times where it's shown up and it said it was still in... East Jahunga. Uh, Michael, all the cards pulled are on YouTube. All videos are uploaded immediately following the break. By the way, I can tell you, those buybacks are a sealed master case. So all of those buybacks are coming out of a master case. Uh, Michael, I do not remember. Uh, but in the video, it'll be in the beginning of the video. That'll be the first thing you see. <laughs> you're very welcome friend yeah th I, that is my number one priority following a break is getting that video live that is my number one priority so if I'm breaking it guarantee it'll be up there quick All right, everybody, I'm just going to ask that you go ahead and take a screenshot so that I can get rolling and continue with the breaks because busy, 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 and it's already 10 after nine. So the list is going to go away in five, four, three, two, one, half, quarter, zero.
All right. I've got an email from Paul. Paul says, proceed. what you see in front of you is pretty special. This right here is for a birthday boy. Brian. Happy birthday, friend. You have a birthday, depending on when it is. That's near mine. My birthday is tomorrow. So let's throw both of our birthday luck into your birthday break. It's a Hit Parade officially licensed edition, autographed game hockey puck, series six, 33 out of 50. Um, your brother has got you this awesome gift. Be sure to give him a hug next time you see him. And it's safe. All right, good luck, friend, and happy birthday. That right there is Mr. Seth Jones. Seth Jones for the Columbus Blue Jackets. There you go, man. That is a solid legit puck for you happy birthday friend best witches Seth Jones ah there you go Ricky <coughs> All right, guys, let me clean up the, uh, let me clean up my emails real quick. It's going to be 10 o'clock. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Works. Should be fine. Great. Another 10. My emails are caught up, everybody. <laughs> Greek, that's great. That's great. All right, let 
me keep moving. Uh, let's see. Matthew M, did you come back? don't think I have any Star Wars breaks. Yep, um, Undead, what is your uh, order number? Because I definitely don't have anything Star Wars here. All right, man, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hoff, that's really cool. I'm sorry, Katrina. They shipped that one. Uh, I can confirm it was break live. And they shipped it, so I'm sorry. Unfortunately, that's on its way to your house. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. It looks like it. Uh, I have a shipping tracking number, which means it would mean it, w it went out on the truck. So unfortunately, I'm sorry. It is en route. Which makes me sad because I love opening those. Hi, right, James, how many? Two graded notes. Sounds good. Uh, I have some information. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Undead. Trust me, I'm not happy to ever have to say that to somebody. So, uh, in the in the in the method of the great uh, and powerful. Uh, late late show with Craig Ferguson. I've got a message. Uh, it says, 
Funko ad icons should be coming out tomorrow. So should the Signature Series and the Chase exclusives. So I know some people were looking for those. That was left on a box for me to read. Oh man, I love when beavers eat the edges of carts. It's really good for the resale value. All right, let me continue with the breaks. Because uh, me chatting is not helping the flow. This one is for Michael. What we have here is some absolute baseball. If you've been paying attention to absolute baseball, you will see that this stuff has been overperforming. Uh, some very nice tools of the trades in here. And we're going to pull a couple right now because I said so. Thank you, Slam. Ooh, that's a thick one. Out of 99, Jose Ramirez. Shin Yamaguchi. Tools of the trade, Jordan Yamamoto. Oh, wow, that's nice. Four out of ten. Look at those patches. I like that card. That's a nice card. Boom. Justin Dunn. 125. Well, that was the first good half of a box. Out of 199, Ahmed Rosario. Andrew Benatendi. Grip it and rip it. Out of 25. Sean Murphy, Tools of the Trade, out of 25. Look at that one. We are just hitting a low number 
treasure trove of tools of the trade. Uh, Eric, there are the autographed ones as well as the ad icons. Tatsa. One forty nine out of ninety nine, Sam Hilliard. All right, good first box. Let's go to box two. Oh, there's a one oh one in here. There is a 101 in here. I guarantee you it's a 101. Andrew Benatendi, uno de uno. Hey, what's up, Justin? How you doing? Ben Attendee, one of one. And we'll follow it up with a Gavin Lux. We'll move on to the tools of the trade. Adbert Alzole. That one's going to be out of 25. And it's fuzzy. Oh, trust me, I know, man. That was my birthday present, and I don't get to go. Another Dotsa. Out of 125. Have a good one, Munger. Out of 99, Ken Griffey Jr. Nice, it's true. Nico Horner, grip it and rip it out of 25. Aaron Savali out of one forty. Justin Dunn out of fifty. There you go. Not too. Shabby. Not too shabby at all. Oh, thanks, Greek.
All right, I still have half a dozen. I have no idea one too many. Um, I have about half a dozen of the previous breaks left. I'm going to mix in some of you guys that are watching. So let me do a little processing so that you guys don't get tired. If you just put a break in, go ahead and send me the number. Uh, Grand Slam, do you think that is a uh, coincidence? Thanks, James. Yep, Danny, that looks like it definitely could be, because that is right around the numbers where we are now. That's what I'm thinking, Grand Slam. Uh, Danny, I don't have those on hand, so that would be tomorrow at the earliest. You're very welcome. I am, uh, I'm going to print it out and I'm going to hand deliver it to shipping to make sure, not shipping, to uh, the warehouse to make sure that it gets in for me tomorrow for you. Least I can do. For show. All right, James, take a look at this. James, it doesn't get any better than what you're getting right now. So that was a master case. There are the inners. James, which inner would you like yours pulled from? The left one or the right one? Destiny is in your hands. Flip a coin, you're really going to make me change screens and flip a coin. How about you flip a coin and you tell me? The right one, all right. <laughs> all right, man, do you want the top four or the bottom four? Decisions, decisions.
top four. There you go, man. That is literally everything you've asked for. Everything you've asked for. DC is delivered. Yeah, <laughs> right, Grand Slam? That'd be great. Celebrity Edition Mori. All right, this is for James. When I say he handpicked these four boxes, I mean, it really wasn't by hand, but it was by direction. So here he goes for Upper Deck 1920 Buybacks Hockey. Yeah, that's right. Probably been a good idea. Or have Ricky choose. He tends to be pretty lucky. They are five boxes. That's why I asked him if he wanted the top five or the bottom, or excuse me, the top four or the bo uh, bottom four. Lundquist, 199. Sure can, Philly. Uh, this is cool. Two out of five. Jonathan Taves. That is a Lucite card. That is a, uh, a plexiglass card. And then Bobby Orr, one ninety nine. Travis Dermott out of twenty five. Young Guns. Trent Frederick out of 50. Nicholas Roy out of 25. Excuse me. Orwa depends on where you're from. And last but not least. Philip Zadina out of 199. Oh, the Oilers. Okay, nice. <clears throat> five out of five. Jordan Eberly. Artifacts Black, five out of five. There you go, friend. are very welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> What's going on, Danny? How are you doing? <laughs> Ricky's, Ricky's certain 
Alex is in the last box. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, let me keep processing. What up, Philly? Hey, Philly, what's the number of the break you ordered? What is the uh, order number? Uh, actually, Danny, it is finally under control. Would you like to see the list? Ah, okay. No, no, it's okay. I just want to make sure you got yours. Uh, what's your order number? Because I don't see any that are break live, but I'm not all the way done with the... Ah, no, there you are. I found you. I found you. I bet you you are getting an email right now that says the number because I just processed you. One gold bar and one shipwreck. Uh, which gold bar? The certified gold bar or the silver dollar gold bar? Uh, the silver dollar gold bar. They do, Mike. They do. There's only six left. I started with 12. Two of them went when I realized an order was never filled, so I immediately filled the order. Uh, those were actually Joe's, and then that left me with 10. Somebody bought four. That left me with six. I walked in today. There was only two. I actually caught... Uh, one of the bosses, one of the, 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 the big guys in the company. And I said, listen, you've got to jump into the warehouse before you leave and get me two things. I'm going to need obsidian first off the line basketball, and I'm going to need a case of buybacks. And he said, are you going to sell a case of buybacks? I said, yes, I am. I am two away from selling that case. That's all that's left, because I started with two. I've already sold eight. Oh, he will. He's got a grand scheme plan. He has something big in the works. Trust me.
All right, this is for Grand Slam. Grand Slam is grabbing the very first two Hit Parade Graded Note Series 2. He's got uh, 41 and 12. These literally came out 10 minutes before I went live. These were handed to me while I was drawing up the bounties. That's how fresh these are. Legit. Hey, Marcus, how are you doing? So, and by the way, new packaging, much easier. Good luck, friend. Uh, we'll kick it off with 41 out of 50. Because that's the one that I picked up. He gave me three of them. So you've bought two out of the three. But this is the first time the new edition's being seen live. Alright, survey says... 2003... Star Note, one dollar sixty-five. Thank you, James. All right, next up, twelve out of fifty. How about a 2009 $20 star note graded 64? That doesn't look like a dollar. There you go, man. Congratulations on your graded notes. All right, James, I'll look for it. All right, Danny, thank you. I know it's funny. It looked better, and yet it's a point below. That's why we're not the professionals. What do we know? Uh, Anthony, I do. <clears throat> I have, uh, two of them. <clears throat> uh, Danny, there are not.
Yeah, Bruce, I got time now, man. Uh, Spooky, I only have one. All right, Anthony, are you buying uh, one or both? Uh, a twenty dollars star note sells for graded like a sixty four. Probably sells for about forty, forty five, something like that. Sure can. Let me just edit it real quick. Uh, Anthony, did you get one or both of the Force Edition boxes? No, Bruce, I do have time. I have one left if you want it. All right, James, don't forget to hit break live. Uh, we have people processing around the clock, and if they get to yours before I do, I can't get it back from the warehouse once they print it. Thanks, Danny. Nah, it's okay, man. It happens to the best of us. Actually, almost everybody has missed it lately. Eh, James, I like you, so it's okay. Now, if it was that Ricky fella, oh man, would I be dogging him? Would I be dogging him? He'd never live it down. That wasn't the button I wanted to press. There we go. Uh, wow, James, yours was actually in faster than Danny's. I did not think it would be. See, there you go. Ricky, I said, uh, so James didn't hit break live. And I said, it's okay because I like him. But if Ricky didn't do it, I'd be dogging him forever. Ricky knows he's the goat, or at least one of the goats. I mean, you have to admit, there's a few goats that hang out in his pasture. The DC pasture. Uh, all right, James. You don't get a choice this time. What you do get is the one from the other box and three of them that I pick because that's how I roll, which would be three right off the top. Because right off the top is how I roll. <laughs> uh, well, the top one 
is the one that you didn't pick. So we're going to do that first to see what you didn't pick first. Uh, it happened. Marcus did get a non-signed McDavid rookie. Excuse me. All right, this is for James. These are more upper deck buybacks for James. Uh, this box right here is the one he didn't choose last time. So we're going to especially point that out and open it first. The last three were just the ones I picked right off the top. Nothing complicated, just right off the top. Here we go. Lundqvist. Out of 199. James, you almost screwed up so bad that for the rest of your life you would have not lived this down. So, consider yourself fortunate that you immediately purchased four more boxes. Because if you didn't, you would be missing this UD canvas Wayne Gretzky out of ten. Oh, thank heavens, you went back for seconds. And then, Taylor Hall, 199. Logan Couture, Young Guns, out of 10. Redemption for Jack Hughes. Red. There you go. Out of 12, UD Canvas, Connor Hellbuck. And last, Max Jones, out of 199. This is awesome. Out of 20, shining star, Daniel Sedin. There you go, man. 
There you go. I am so happy you went back in. You're welcome, man. You are welcome. Hey, Danny, are you ready? What do you want to see first? This is for Danny, doing a little treasure hunting. Hit Parade, graded Silver Dollar Series 4 Shipwreck Edition, 78 out of 100. Thank you, Anthony. Nineteen oh four MS62 Morgan Silver Dollar believe they are 90% silver. Double check me on that, but that's what I think the number is. Uh, Hit Parade 2020 Certified Gold Bar Series 2. Eleven out of 50. And that is from the Perth Mint. It is one gram of solid Kangaroo gold. There you go. Silver and gold. Uh, gold skyrocketed today, I believe. Or over the last couple of days. You are welcome. I believe it is record high. Yes, that is a gram uncertified, correct.
Hey, Thomas, how are you? It's based on weight when you're selling it by weight. Um, for it to be certified means it no longer has to be tested. It's already been um, tested. Gold can only be tested in a destructive manner. Uh, so with it being certified, it's already certified 99.999% uh, pure. If you were to just, let's say, have a lump of gold and you wanted to sell it, they would have to carve a little, a tiny, tiny amount out of it, test it, and then pay you for it. And then when they sold it, they would have to have somebody test it, and so on and so on and so on. So when you get it certified, that bar of gold is going to be exactly one gram, and it's not going to change. It doesn't have to be destructive tested anymore to prove its purity. So... When you have smaller amounts like a gram, the, the certification adds about $20 worth of value to it. Um, when you get to the higher amounts like ounces, it's still only about a $50, $60 uh, difference. It, it's not a tremendous amount, but in the smaller denominations, it does make up a larger amount because of the cost of the actual um, testing and certification. So when you're buying big weight, certification... It doesn't change the price that much, um, but in lower weights, it becomes a large portion of the value, unfortunately. I had to do a rabbit hole uh, when the product came out to learn about it because I didn't understand why it would be such a difference either. And then once, uh, once it was explained to me, I was like, oh, well, that actually makes sense. So when you're doing like ounces, it's not a substantial difference. It's like a hundred dollar difference uh, for a certified ounce or like a hundred and fifty dollar difference. It just shows up more in smaller amounts. Uh, Justin, I have a little, not a lot. I had a major shift and I liquidated some of the gold, uh, when I took four months off of work because it was the easiest thing to liquidate. Uh, honestly, Jeremy... The contenders would be a good bet. Uh, the obsidian and the luminance draft picks. You know what? Anthony, I don't have a flash. There is no flash here, so I can either send it to you or I can open it tomorrow. Uh, it's up to you. But uh, the list said I had one, and indeed I have zero. Take a screenshot, it goes away in three, two, one.
All right, sir. It is up to you, Anthony. Uh, you're up. Do you want me to send it or open it tomorrow? Uh, yep, Anthony, I've been talking to you. So do you want me to send that to you or do you want me to open it tomorrow? For the flash. Oh, that's all right. Uh, so, Anthony, the flash is gone. Do you want me to send you one uh, unopened, or do you want me to open one for you tomorrow? And I'm just going to open the other boxes today. Send it? Okay, sounds good. All right, here we go, man. This is you. Hit Parade Mystery Box 2020 Star Wars The Force Edition Series 3. I've got number 3 out of 50 and another one for you. This came out uh, as well and about 20 minutes before I went live. I was handed these two boxes and they said, here, these are the first ones. So... See what you got. I use this almost every day at home. This is my scratch pad. Just saying, it's great. Uh, Andrew, I do have your huge ho hockey mixer. Han Solo. Uh, not quite yet, no. Not for the night. Han Solo. Oh, how awesome is this? How about a Chewbacca Millennium Falcon patch card? Well, look at that. Good old Lando. Collector series. Little plastic figure. Helmet on, helmet off. Helmet on. There you go. Interesting piece. And last but not least, Chewbacca with a Porg. It would be so much cooler if the Porg's head bobbled too. Just saying, Funko, the ball is in your court. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't have any room. I don't have any room. Oh, 
Okay. Your next one is 47 out of 50. in almost all of them. Uh, that's fine, Bruce. I'll take care of it. First order, Snow Trooper. Lieutenant Connix. Malbus commemorative medallion a U-wing medallion Fen Rao Probably should put it so that you can see it, right? I did not watch Star Wars Rebels yet. I'm getting there. And uh, how about this? Watto's Box. Nice little scene right there for you. Pretty cool, man. Comes with a ComTech chip. I dig it. That's, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. See how this Jenga fits together. No, maybe. Aha. All right, I figured it out. Boom. That is correct. Let me grab this mixer. <clears throat> Andrew, are you ready?
Uh, do you have a preference on how you want this magnificent thing to go down? There is so much amazing on screen right now. I know. It's it's tough to look at. <sighs> it's overwhelming. I don't think so. I think it's just right. But that's me. Yeah, he did just change his name to Andrew. Any particular order, Andrew? I mean, here's what I'm going to tell you. No matter what, I'm going to do the 15-16 cup probably last because that's probably a no-brainer. I, I would put it last. 15-16 cup is... Uh, Quite possibly the bell of the ball. 0506 trilogy is pretty dope. Disrespect the cup. Ha ha ha! Let me at least get some of this in order. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, all right. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. How about we go artifacts and then we'll go forward in time. 17, 18, 19. But we'll stop with old school because it's old school. And then uh, I'm going to dip into ultimate and then grow chronology buybacks, premiere. Cup, cup. So that's, that's, that's what I'm thinking. All right, this beautiful monster is Andrew's. And it is my honor to break it. I am going to kick things off with 1920 artifacts. All right, good luck, brother. Everybody... Grab a frosty beverage. Sit back and relax. Jesse, uh, I mean, throw some ice cubes in the chamber, I guess. Whatever makes it frosty. Let's go. $6.99, Kucherov. That would be Sven Berchi. Artifacts Wild Card Rookie Redemption. It's red 213. All right, somebody go to Cardboard Connection, find out what red 213 is. Red 213. Thank you. Oh. 
Aurum Philip Zadina. Jordan Greenway, year run, year one sweater. Morgan Frost from Philly is two thirteen. Logan Couture, two ninety nine. Out of forty five, Inistrosa. Claude Giroux. There is Ricky's favorite Golden Knight, Mr. Alex Tuckett. All right, so we're going to go 1718 Trilogy. Seventeen eighteen. Trilogy. The pack's just falling apart. Alexander Nylander out of 399, rookie premier level one, Buffalo. Ha! <laughs> Uh, Kamenev out of 42. That is a level two rookie premier auto. Michael Granlund out of 999. Out of 28, that's Johnny Tavares. There is some weird depth complexity to this patch. Interesting. Clay Keller, nine ninety nine. Not a bad one right there, Mr. Keller. It could be Ricky. It's weird. I don't want to touch it. Wayne Gretzky out of nine nine nine. Uh Maddie, it very well could be. Tarasenko out of 999. This pack feels heavy. It is heavy for a reason, I see. It's heavy because of the Nikita Sherbeck Lucite, or as they call it, Plexiglass Auto. Ice Scripts. That is what I would call cool. OEL on a 999. Now we will move one year into the future. 1819 Trilogy. Or as they call it, Trillo 3. What's up, Trav? 
Getslav, seven ninety nine, because they can. Ha! Uh, no, not this time, man. It's Andrews, and Andrew has built himself quite the mixer. Casey Middlestat, nine ninety nine, rookie premier level uno. Four twenty five, Patty Kane. Stammer out of seven ninety nine. Connor McDavid, four twenty five. Out of 447, because that's a weird number. Cam Atkinson. Oh, 447 games played. That's why. Way to go, DC. Way to go, jerk. Dumas. Three out of three, Elias Anderson. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, Matty B, no, these are from the back, bud. Three out of three. Uh, the only football Obsidian I have would be the draft picks one. Warren Fogel, or Fogelli, or Fogeli, or just Warren, as everyone else in the world calls him, out of four ninety nine. It's Fogel. Moving up a year to nineteen twenty trilogy. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, put it in, Zach. I'll get to it. McLovin? That's his name. He is from Hawaii, after all. Samantha Fox. Sanding. $4.99. Fragile must be Italian. Fragile. <laughs> Capo Caco. Oliver Wallstrom, level three. It's out of two ninety nine. Uh yeah, but blue. Hey Jim. Uh but blue, the thing of the, the the fact of the matter is they knew that they had the positive tests and they still went ahead and played with those guys. That's where it comes into play. Uh, Megan Fox, 499, level one. They knowingly put people in harm's way. Trent Frederick, 399. Yeah, man, that's that's what just came out. That's what made me, oh, see, Blue? It changes, changes it quickly, man. Um, that came out today uh, that people knew about it and didn't act on it. That is why um, I put that question up there, is I want to see you've maliciously now put people in harm's way. What happens next? Uh, Michael Granlund, another puck.
Yeah, the players decided to play. Uh, let me ask you this. Did the umpires decide to continue playing? Uh, did the Bat Boys and the, the, the guys who supply the water, did, did they decide? Did the kids fielding uh, shagging the, uh, the foul balls, did they decide through text? I mean, it's not just players, man. Seven ninety nine. Did the person who cleans up the uh, the locker room did he decide through text that he wanted to keep playing? I mean, the cameraman <laughs> might not be. Well, there is one cameraman actually in the dugout. Yeah, so. Yeah, man, it's it's reckless, man. It's reckless. That's what I'm saying. It's people have tried to justify it by saying everyone agreed. Not everyone agreed. Uh, now, now that we've gotten to modern times, we're gonna take that DeLorean right back to 2005, 2006, from for some old school trilogy with uh, Wayne F. Gretzky on the cover. Somebody whose autograph was already pulled once today. I want to do it again. I want to do it right now. <laughs> uh, Jim, I've got a lot of orders, but I mean, if you don't mind waiting, I still have to go to lunch. Jose Theodore. Honorary Swatch. Uh, I mean, if you're willing to hang out until after my lunch, man, definitely put one in. Yeah, Jedi, I mean, that's basically what's happening. Oh my god, this redemption is so old, it's invisible. Oh, hold on, I can get an angle on it. I don't know if you'd want to know, though. Williams? It looks like somebody Williams. NHL Trilogy Auto. Patches. Williams. It could be. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it very much with the camera. But it could be Justin Williams, because I think there is an N before the Williams. So, yes, I'm going to say it looks like there's an N, then Williams. I'll let you look when you get it at your house. But Justin Williams, that is what I'm going to have to say. That works. It clearly, I'm sorry, you're right. Clearly, it's Ted Wowser. One of the very limited plexiglass... Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, it's destroyed. Brad Richards out of 599. I don't know what to say about this. I 
I don't know what to say about this. Well, here's the thing. This was the other card, so actually it has nothing to do with this card. This card is clean. It was just uh, two in a pack. This is actually a clean card. Uh, but, yeah, these were the only two in the pack. This is clean. This is just uh, like an anomaly, man. These were like one of the big hits uh, for 0506, so I'm sorry you uh, got a bad one. But Brad Richards, maybe you can uh, take some goo gone and uh, lightly get that paper off. It's possible. Uh, it might come off. I'm not going to mess with it, but uh, give it a try. Give it a try. It's color by number. <laughs> That's great. Uh, hopefully it is a protective liner. If that's the case, man, peel it off. That's amazing. Matt Sundin. Honorary swatches. Who was it? It was uh, Brad Richards. They did? Cool. Mike Camilleri. Rookie Premier, Henry... Oh, Henry Lundquist! Rookie out of nine ninety nine. Lundquist rookie out of 99. Uh, here's another one out of 599. Thomas Vacoon. So, yeah, it looks like it is the protective layer. Thomas Vacoon. The Nash. Ryan Klo, rookie. Man, I love Poopa. One of my fave goalies. Le Cavalier. Cam Ward rookie. My goodness. Goalie rookie heaven. All right, so maybe they're not as rare as they was intended. Marcel Hosa Ice Scripts. Dude. Dig that man. Three. One of them signed. Uh, I'm sorry. Strike that. Four. Martin St. Louis. Out of 5.99. St. Louis. It's cool as cool. Cool, cool. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. I dig it. Can you dig it? All right. Uh, now we're going to go to ultimate. Just because.
<laughs> Ultimate Collection. Little 1819. To Chuck, 149. Philip Ronick. Look at that one. Out of 49 Ultimate Autographed Rookies. How about rookie Carter Hart? Or Evan Bouchard out of 399. Or out of 10, Vladimir Tarasenko. We're going to move to chronology. And you're going to have to make the decision. If there's a time capsule in it, do you rip it or do you keep it? Think about that while we crack chronology. Ty Domi. All right, this one still has some time left on it, and I suggest, I highly suggest you redeem this one because it's an 1819 chronology Letterman auto patch number 215 of Joe Sackick. That's a big one. From the Buffalo Sabres, Jerry Korab. So all you need to know about Jerry is despite having 455 points in 15 seasons, he managed 1,629 penalty minutes. King Korab, that is right. That's a long time in the box. Bob McGill. Uh, more penalty minutes for Bob McGill. A grand total of 1,766 penalty minutes and a luscious negative 100 plus minus. That's a great stat line for a defenseman. Negative 100. Oh, Bart, I definitely know Marty. Let's jump to some buybacks. Two of them, to be exact. These are unrelated to the case that was opened in here. These are from the back. So, I don't know. I, You know what, Jedi? I, I bet you could. I really bet you could. EP40 out of 50. Uh, that's James Neal out of 20. He was. 
I played defense, and I love to fight, but unfortunately, in the organized play that you play when you're younger, you're not allowed to fight. Sid Crosby, 199. Zach Wierenski, out of 10. Seventeen, eighteen, upper deck, premier. Wayne Gretzky. Rosen, three ninety nine. Nekus, three ninety nine. Congratulations, you're getting a UD Premier Acetate Rookie Auto Patch, number to two ninety nine of Ivan Barbashev, and it only expired three weeks ago. Uh, upper deck is pretty good. They're still taking old ones, so you should be fine. How about three out of five game used mega patch? Penarin. Yeah, Greek, dig it. Samuel Morin. I have no idea why I didn't immediately throw that in there. Sorry. Uh, Hedman and Vesilevsky out of 99. All right, the second box, or tin, I should say. I won too many. Take care. Jacob Forsbacka Carlson, two ninety nine rookie patch auto. Logan Couture, Nekas. Out of 99, Nico Heischer. Vinny Trocek. Upper deck 1718 hockey, hashtag disrespect the cup. Claude Giroux, 249. 
out of 249, Nick Merkley. Oh, baby. Out of three, Vince Dunn. I believe he does sing country in his off time. Uh, no, so Greek, they were aware of the positive tests and still went ahead and played. Out of only 12, Victor Hedman. And the juice. One of one. Rookie masterpiece printing plate. Now, Greek, let me preface that since I am on a recorded medium. Allegedly, they knew. Allegedly, they knew. Upper deck. The Cup, 15-16 Hockey. All jokes aside, this is the big one. Alex Gelchenyuk, 249. Vincent Inostroza, out of 249. Out of 50, Robbie Fabry. Uh, it's not Connor, but this is very, 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 very nice. Very nice. Out of 35. Mark Messier scripted sticks.
All right. Let's not even take into consideration who's on this card. But let's just talk about how cool this one of one masterpiece Shane Prince printing plate and the fact that they had him sign directly on the plate bigly yep I said bigly Johnny Tavares, out of two forty nine. All right, my friend. There you go. A lot to go over in that one. Uh, BM, I can. But I'm going to warn you, I still haven't taken my half-hour lunch. And I do have about four or five breaks. Not to mention a bunch from earlier today. Hey, you're welcome, Andrew. So if you order anything right now, it's 11.06. Anything ordered right now may not necessarily be broke today. Just... And FYI. Thanks, Zach. I take a screenshot. It's going away in five, four, three, two, and one.
All right. Anybody else uh, have any breaks in? Zach, I got yours. Uh, Bruce, I have yours. New York. All right, Bruce, let's uh let's get you up first. Uh, movie edition. Apparently, I don't have any movie edition. Looks like the only one I do have is TV edition. Um, the movie edition actually sold out Friday, and I never got any new ones. So all I have is TV and pop culture. Do you want me to go ahead and send you one, or do you want me to break it tomorrow? Uh, Liberty, I have no Star Wars. Uh, Riot, that would be a question for service. I don't handle any of the shipping. Service at dacardworld.com. Actually, those are officially sold out, so there are no pop culture anywhere. Uh, the two that I have here are already reserved for online, and the product is gone. Uh, so the only one I have is a TV. You're probably better off either waiting for the movie tomorrow or having me send it to you. Uh, Ricky, I just broke 15 boxes of hockey.
Uh, yeah, it, it's relatively new. We've only been streaming for a few years. But we haven't been going this late. That's the kicker. So I am, I've uh, been with the company for eight months, nine months. Uh, and I am the new guy who handles all the nights. So during the day, you could get them, but it was few and far between. Now, I am live 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. Monday through Friday. And it is a party when I'm here. A party. When is break for Richard? Uh, Matt, what is the order number, the invoice number? Thank you. All right, man, I've updated your invoice, Bruce. What do you want to start with? TV or spooky? Yeah, I try to make it fun. TV or spooky first? Uh, Zach, you're on deck. TV, all right, here we go. This one is for Bruce. Hit Parade Mystery Box 2020 TV Edition 20. Out of 50. It's a tumbler of the Muppets. Yeah, uh, Greek, that was me. I got us out of that one. It's uh it's just useless now. There's no point in being there. A teenage mutant ninja turtles light up yo yo. Yo. Gotham before the legend. It's box set number one. With J Jim Gordon, Sarah e S. Eason, uh, Ed Nigma, and the Black Mask. It's Fry and the Love of His Life. Simpsons Comics Explosion number four. I got it, Bruce. From Voltron, Pidge, the Green Lion. Leela was the love of Fry's life. Her family lived in the sewers. 
with the other mutants. And more. Trust me. I'm a ninja. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell. Parade Mystery Box 2020, Spooky Edition, 24 out of 50. A tumbler of the mayor. Log with grub. Dutch from Predator. Mars Attacks, number six. Uh, not as cool as this. It's one of the marquee hits of the series. How about your autographed Tony Todd Candyman? There you go. That is a big hit. A McFarland autographed Candyman. Uh, Jim, I have not. After Zach's uh, break, I will be going to lunch. 1920 UD Bybanks. Out of 199, Mario Lemieux. Henrique Zetterberg. The original card was out of 143, but I have a feeling the autograph is out of a lot less. All right, man. Congratulations.
I do what I can, man. Thank you. All right, last break before I go on break. Are you ready, Zach? This is for Zach. 2020 Obsidian Draft Picks Collegiate Football. Uh, actually, uh, the one I have is first off the line. You make sure. make sure we got the right one. Let me look. they're not on the site anymore that would be too easy Yeah, I it looks like they are quite possibly all first off the line. Let me just double check real fast. Uh, yeah, I think they are all that way. Yep. All right. Sorry, just noticed this sticker and had to just do my due diligence. But let's do it. All right, Zach's 2020 Obsidian Draft Picks Foosball. I just didn't want to open at all in any way, shape, or form. It is just embarrassing me. All right. Get the little shreds of, shreds of uh, plastic away. Nate Stanley, out of 99. Out of 15. Jake Fromm. State Farm. Out of 99, it's not just anybody's Jones, it's the people's Jones. Out of 10, 
Mitchell Wilcox. Oh, baby. This next one right here. It's pretty good. I'm going to make you wait. Anthony Gordon out of 49. I am making you wait. It's six out of seven. Six out of seven, CD. You are welcome. All right, I'm going to lunch. I'm a few minutes late, but it'll be all right. Not as bad as I was last week. I will try. Uh, Jeremy, what is the invoice number? I can take a look. So what happens is uh, if they receive it before 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, typically they can get it processed and into the warehouse where the warehouse will pull it and then give it to us. Once we receive it, we typically send an email. Uh, and on the email, you select, you would uh, let us know what time would be best for you. Uh, on Friday, I I wouldn't know. I'd have to see the uh, the invoice number. All right, so it looks like they processed it. It is back in the warehouse, which means it should break tomorrow. Uh, so, Jeremy, tomorrow you should receive an email uh, asking if you want a video or break live, and uh, you can respond with the best time for you. Uh, life, I do not. You're welcome, Jeremy. Uh, Ronaldo, it looks like it's the same thing here. It looks like it was supposed to be 
sent to me today, but I can tell you I do not have it. I do not have any legacy. I am going to write down your number and I'm going to find out what happened. We should have it tomorrow for sure. Yeah, if you buy something now, it's it's uh, usually it gets broke the next day unless it's on my list, which I do immediately. However, uh, I'm booked for the rest of the evening tonight already. So anything you order tonight would be tomorrow. If you order it while I'm live, I'll print it out and deliver it myself to the warehouse. All right, Rinaldo, I am writing your number down. I'm going to ask some questions about that tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I got it, man. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. All right, everybody. I need to get out of here. I'll be back in a half hour. So we are looking at 10 after 12. Uh, Journey, I have no idea. All right, everybody, I am walking away from the screen, and the mic is off. See you in 30.
All right, so this one right here uh, is for Mark. Mark has two 2020 Panini Chronicles draft picks football boxes. This was in order from earlier today. Good luck, friend. Chase, Seedy, DeAndre, Air Bear, Joe Reed out of 99. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, Mario. Thank you very much, friend. Tua, out of 15, out of 15, that is a gorgeous Justin Herbert right there. Now, this is a Spectra hit. This is how Spectra should look right there. What an amazing snag out of Chronicles. I don't think you can overstate how big this is. Fifteen out of fifteen. That's a big one. CD and Edwards Lair. Judy. Judy. Chase. How about a Jared Pinckney? Numbered to 25. Burrow. Tua. That's a Chrome rated rookie. Out of one forty nine, Jeff Okuda. Out of twenty five, Anthony McFarland Jr. He's not just any Jones. He's the People's Jones. Out of 299. Fabric. Oh, the game. Tua. James Proch, Prestige, Auto. All right, pretty darn good for box one. What does box two got to say about it? Hopefully it tries to one-up the first one. For your viewing pleasure. Burrow. 
followed by Burrow. Ayuk. Darnell Mooney. Good old Tulane. Gabriel Davis, who headed out to Buffalo. Ryan Edwards, out of 99. Jonathan Taylor. T. Higgins. Proch. Yeah, I saw the Blue Jays were actually in the stadium today working out, so that's pretty cool. Judy. Regor. All right, let's get some hot packs here. Out of 149, LaMichael Perrin. Rookie silhouette, Colin Johnson. That's a chase. All right, last pack. Should be a doozy. Tua. Jefferson, DuVernay, Gandy Golden, Proch, Herbert, Morgan, LaVishka Chenault Jr. out of 20. Can you believe it? Another Spectra RPA in the very next box of Chronicles. That was a solid Chronicles break. Uh, yeah, so Buffalo, they are, they dropped 1.2 million to upgrade Buffalo's, uh, lighting systems, uh, because the minor league field didn't have good enough lighting. Um, so I think while that's underway, they're doing them elsewhere.
no, 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 it wasn't. Nope. Nope, uh, the Blue Jays paid. Uh, so, Jason, uh, eight Marlins players and two coaches tested positive for uh, COVID. And come to find out, um, the team knew uh, about the positive tests and uh, played anyway. Um, so the the what happened isn't scandalous. The fact is that it just came out today that they knew about the positive tests and decided to play. Apparently, they knew for three days uh, before the games that there were going to be positive tests. So they had three days of contact, um, undisclosed contact. That is that's the kicker. That is the quote-unquote damning point. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's, I mean, it was just today that it was, came to light that they knew about them and decided to not inform anyone or to just wait until the league's tests came back. Uh, but apparently the players had tested positive before uh, and they just swept it under the rug. Uh, Julian. Julian, are you hanging out, friend? Yeah, man, Jason, I have no clue, man. I just posed the question to see what people thought. I'm definitely not judge or executioner. Oh, no, Jason, I, I believe that is going to be a fact. I, I think other teams know and don't say anything. Yeah, I, I have a feeling there are other teams that are going to be in a similar boat. What's up, man? How are you doing, friend? Just saw you put... Uh, the, uh, the group break in figured if you were hanging out, I'd say hello. Um, here's my thing. If I was like, oh, that's terrible. Uh, when I found out that somebody tested positive, but when it later came out that they knew about it, uh, that's pretty serious. If that ends up being true, if for sure they knew that they had done private tests that came back positive three days before the league tests came back. Uh, that's egregious. That is agreed. You are putting, and it's not just players in danger. Uh, how about the person who's cleaning out the locker rooms? How about the young kid who's out there shagging balls during practice? Um, there's a lot of people that you're not telling that don't have the ability to say no and opt out. Uh, you're putting more than players in danger. Uh, Brian, I do. I got that in San Antonio. I heard that as well. Yep. Yep, I heard about the Atlanta thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, 
Um, but, I mean, at first I was like, oh, that sucks. Um, and again, who knows what to believe at this point. It's just that the newest scuttlebutt is uh, that they knew they had personal tests done three days before that were uh, non-league tests. And that they were just like, well, we'll just wait till the league ones come back. Which is probably not the attitude to have. And that is probably what would get them in trouble. Uh, because you're playing with fire, man. There was no report. Apparently, there was a bunch of text messages between the players. And the players were like, yeah, let's still play. But at that point, uh, it's not just the players, man. It's the possibility of other people getting infected. Yeah, I mean, if there's another another team outbreaks, it's you you, you got to call it. You got to call it. Hockey is doing it right. Hockey has had zero confirmed cases in their bubble. What's better, the Leafs SIG series or 1516 hockey? Um, I mean, it depends on what you're looking for. 1516 hockey, uh, you're, I want to say Leaf 1516 had the Jack Eichel exclusive autos because they had them under contract, um, which is why his RPA didn't show up until 1819 the cup. That would be the reason to get anything 1516 from Leaf. I mean, for what it's worth, Leaf puts out some ridiculous items. It's just they don't have the. They have to use buybacks in order to allow them to use the um, images of the players and the logos. So if you don't care about logos, honestly, any of their stuff is going to have some of the best players autographing it. Yeah, hey, listen, uh, Jason, it's not a sport, but I can be pretty dang entertaining when I'm opening up sports products. And you know what? I don't have COVID. And even if I did, I come in contact with no one because I'm here alone. All right, uh, while we're chatting, does anybody have any personal breaks that are in that uh, are processed or need to be processed before I keep going? Oh, cool, Jason. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, all right, Jesse, let me take a look. Excuse me. Hmm. Um, I don't have any Onyx vintage baseball, so the earliest that can be broke is tomorrow. Uh, I don't have very much left for tonight. It got picked over pretty hard. Uh, Jesse, I'm looking for yours right now. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. You'll be coming right up. Uh, Jesse, you did a perfect job. I right, take a screenshot. That's going away in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, the one of one was a sketch card. It was a sketch card of, um, Storm from X-Men. It was a really good one, too. Jesse, are you ready? All right, this is for Jesse. He is new to the show. So, big welcome, man. Beginner's luck is in effect for this Don Russ Optic. First off the line baseball. And believe me, when beginner's luck is in effect, that's pretty good on my show. All right, friend, here you go. Buster Posey out of 79. Bobby Bradley. Out of 99. Out of 99. Paddock, 99. Javier Baez out of 99. How about Logan Webb? He's going to be out of just 25. Cracked ice. We'll follow it up with Jose Suarez. Signature series. That's going to be out of just 25. So not bad. Back to back out of 25. Simeon out of 99. Goldschmidt out of 99. Another Simeon out of 79. The Trout, he's out of 99. And Chris Bryant, out of 99. On to the next one. DeGrom, 99. Elzele, 99. Christian Yellick, out of 99. Rated rookie, Dylan Cease. 99. Another Yellick. Also 99. Two out of seven. Two out of seven. Are you kidding me? Two out of seven. Anthony Rizzo. But that's not all. How about... Highlights out of just 15, Juan Soto. Juan Soto himself recovering from COVID. How about that? Out of 15.
Beginner's Luck Full Effect. Oh, it is definitely on card. It is definitely on card. That's good stuff right there. That is good stuff right there. Trey Barreras, out of 99. Molina, out of 79. Hilliard, 99. Vlad, out of 99. And Bolanos, out of 99. Uh, that was fantastic. That was fantastic. Just saying. Fantastic. Congratulations, man. And thank you for letting me break your item. You're welcome, man. kidding me? Hi, Julian. Well, it looks like I got bad news. Apparently, I have zero up the only thing i can think of is this is the one that was sold friday and it was never taken off my list uh so the best i can do is break that tomorrow man i will accept a hundred percent responsibility for not double checking my list today oh gary absolutely i can do that for you not a problem, man. I can get that to you. So I apologize, Julian. I didn't check my list, and the list was incorrect. Can't blame anybody but myself. Uh, yeah, I can do that. However you want it done, man. You're the boss. You're in charge, man. I'm just the host. As I say, it's your show. I just host it. <laughs> Bart's like, you can blame me. It's all right. Oh, it's all right, Gary. No sweat, man. Uh, yeah, n people that are new typically don't unless they actually catch it while it's on the screen. Uh, but from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m., I'm live and I have a, a list. Uh, for my protection, the warehouse is locked and, uh, alarm set. Uh, since I'm here alone, it's just not a good idea for me to be here alone with that open. So, it's a safety thing. So, they give me, uh, a decent stock, uh, every night and they update it every day. <laughs> Chris is like, let's make a deal. Monty Hall, come on down. Actually, no, that's the price is right, is come on down. Let's make a deal is great. 
Actually, I think I liked uh, Let's Make a Deal better than the other ones. It's where everyone dressed in costumes and had to carry weird things in their pockets and purses because he would randomly hand out $100 if you had, like, a hard-boiled egg on you. Ah, uh, yeah. BMD, I agree, man. I concur with your statement. All right, anybody else have any that are in that I can actually do and haven't boneheadedly left on the list? Today, I walked in to 26, I think it was, 27 personal breaks waiting. There are still two, three, four. There's still four. So it has been a very busy Monday. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to continue doing what we've been doing and taking the, uh, on Fridays and Mondays, probably starting next week, just doing two group breaks since Mondays and Fridays tend to be the busiest day for uh, personal breaks to give everybody a little bit more time to get their items done and to give me a little bit more time to get everyone else's items done. Yeah, Greek, I heard about that. When I did my research for the company, um, I, I, I read that. Because, I mean, you got to research the company you're working for. Um, that was thrown out the window during COVID uh, because there was about three weeks, three to four weeks where I was from home. Uh, and they're literally like, here, take this truckload of stuff to your house. <laughs> so the level of trust <laughs> uh, that I have built with them, uh, because quite honestly, if you if you watch the show, um, integrity is my middle name. I tell everything exactly like it is. If I don't like a product, I tell people I don't like the product. If I think somebody's going to have a better shot at hitting something, I'll actually recommend that they do something different. Uh, I've told people, I was like, listen, while it's great to, you know, drop two grand on that product here, spend 1100 and get this, this, and this. So I have, uh, I have definitely, uh, built my name on my integrity. And if I make mistakes or if I miss, misspeak, I call myself out kind of like earlier where I screwed up by not having that item here. Oh my God, I had $30,000, $40,000 at my house worth of, I had like five cases of NT football that they, they had me keep at my house. Thank God I know my way around a shotgun and I'm former military. Yeah, oh, it was ridiculous. I had a bunch of cases of OPC. I had the cases of NT. Uh, flawless. I had two cases of flawless. Yeah, two cases. Of, no, three cases of flawless. So it was, yeah, that, uh, they're not worried about that. <laughs> they're not worried about that anymore. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you, buddy. Yep, uh, my birthday uh, started 45 minutes ago. I appreciate that, Ryan. Thank you for remembering. <laughs> well, you get to sleep. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Uh, I did not take the day off. Thanks, Justin. Thank you, guys. Uh, I didn't take the day off. I was, you know what? I I love doing it. 
Get out. I'm good. 21. Man, I would not want to be 21 anymore. <laughs> right, Jason? I, I know how it is. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> I didn't get I didn't get transcended. Thank you, guys. Thanks thanks for the birthday wishes. Um, no, honestly, the I had the option to take off. I was just like, nah, you know what? This, I have too much fun doing this. Oh, you're welcome, Logan. It was my pleasure, man. I was in the Navy. I had a great time when I was in the service. I know, Greek. Isn't it crazy? It's literally... Do I buy myself a brand new car or do I get a, a box of uh, Transcendent? Um, so no, I mean, that comes out. That's that's in a warehouse, in a case, in a giant safe. That's, nobody goes near that, except for Breaking Day. Uh, but, I mean, I'm also a full-blown adult. I mean, I'm 40 years old today. So, uh... If, 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 if I stole something, I go to jail for basically the rest of my life, and I have a four-year-old, I'm not going to uh, not see my son ever again for a case of flawless. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. Uh, you know, Jot, you do have a point. <laughs> like the Babe Ruth uh, bat knob, which is like, what, 50 grand or something like that? Oh, did they? See, I, I, I heard about it. Um, I didn't read too much uh, because I saw how they did it. And I was like, that's just, just, my goodness, man. How did you not realize that come inventory that was going to be found out? Uh, but yeah, I know. And, and, and thank you. I actually, I do. Um, I get to open it. What do I care? I see it all the time. I've had my hands on hundred thousand dollar cards so because yes i got to hold the one one zion <laughs> i don't know man that's still only like three grand yeah yeah greek they do correct yep there are precautions we take when it comes to those Uh, I don't know what that is, Jedi. The biggest hit I've broke, there is some debate on the biggest hit that I did. Um, I did pull the 10 of 10 Zion Prism. Um, I've pulled the 20, the out of 20, first off the line exclusive blue ticket Zion rookie auto ticket, whatever they call it. Uh, that would have been probably one of the most expensive ones. Uh, those are probably the two biggest. I mean, I've pulled Gretzky 101s. Um, that's about it, man. Those, I think, are the two biggest ones. Oh, the FDR 101. That one's pretty big. Hey, Top Shelf. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Hey, man, lurk all you want. I'm here for your entertainment. Seriously. Yeah, see, Bluettes? Yeah, there you go, man. Jason, I do, too. I'm a big fan of printing plates. The Connor McDavid one-of-one one, uh, monumental patch... Uh, hey, Johnny, thank you, buddy. I appreciate the birthday wishes. Uh, he hit me up in the email. Uh, the FDR was amazing. Uh, Julian, I have no idea, because I've seen FDR autos. It all depends on what he signed. In this case, being a cut SIG, uh, I don't know if it'll go as much as a document. The, yeah, the, the... Oh, dude, yeah, dude, I remember pulling the Brady obsidian uh because i even said i'm 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 a bills fan i hate tom brady and the patriots but i had to respect that card it was a great card yeah the, telling you 
is there's a lot of things that I have pulled that that uh, have made wives go, wow, wait, this is actually really cool. The Daisy Ridley uh, 101. Uh, I pulled the Carrie. Um, I pulled the Chase Young 101 auto. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. The DC Aholics love me long time. Um, the Carrie Fisher 101 auto. Samuel L. Jackson, one of one auto. I mean, I've had some beautiful hits in the last nine months. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, I pulled the carry last year. Um, Sean pulled it the few years back from a different set. Yep. Um, FDR... The thing is, he signed a lot of... There was a lot of FDR stuff out there because it was in, in his administration, um, I believe, and I could be wrong, but I, I want to say it was either the administra his administration or the one before is when they started uh, chronicling all documents and making anything the president writes on a official document. Because I know they didn't do that for the longest time, and that's why the early presidents, there's nothing with their signature on it. Unless it's out of a personal uh, a personal collection. The Australian Gretzky. It was the Gretzky that had an upside down auto. Oh, Blue. Always working on it. Man, just because of my birthday doesn't mean I'm not working. No, Jason. I wish it did. <coughs> that would have made it better. <coughs> Excuse me. I <laughs> take care, Ryan. I love you, brother. <coughs> Excuse me. What is my Wayne Gretzky auto card count? Oh, God, I've had to pull 20, 25 Gretzky autos by now. I've got to be, I've got to be around 25. <coughs> it's got to be. Uh, fun fact, breathing in water doesn't work. Swallowing water works better. Yeah, see, Greek, I knew it was something... I knew it was either his administration or the one before that is where they had declared it. Cause I know, I know stupid. I am the king of dumb trivia, but I knew it was around that time that they declared, um, the presidential documents as being required to anything he touches, anything he, he puts a pen to, uh, has to be retained. Yeah. Uh, Chris, I really don't drink. I, I've had a 12 pack of uh, Stella Artois cider in my fridge for over a month, and there's five left. So I'm not definitely not a drinker. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. <laughs> Jazz like, uh, I've been doing it wrong for years then. But, yeah, I've pulled some stuff, man. I've pulled some interesting things. I pulled a Juan Soto autograph bat knob uh, 101. Um, that quietly is a very expensive little piece. Um, it's been a lot. It's been a real lot. What color is Oscar the Grouch originally? You know, something wants, something is telling me to say gray, but something else is trying to tell me he was always green. He was never not green. Oh, thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Uh, right? Hockey? Yeah. Yeah, man. If what they're saying is true, that's a big deal. That is a really big deal if what they're saying is true. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. 
brown. No kidding. Yeah, I mean, it would look like poopy in a can. Yeah, brown would be scary. Brown would be scary. getting stuff in order. Um, tomorrow. Trev, tomorrow. I got the note today. Uh, it's tomorrow. Just a heads up. Tomorrow is launching the ad icons as well as the signature series. Um, but tomorrow, 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 I will have some on hand tomorrow. I have already talked to Tony. I talked to Tony today. He dropped off literally 10 minutes before I went live. He dropped off two boxes of the Force Mystery Boxes, uh, which had come out the hour before. And he gave me uh, two of the new, the note, certified or uh, graded notes. Um, and he said, here's a list of things coming out tomorrow. If anybody's interested, tell them. And that would be the ad icons, which I immediately was like, I know exactly who needs to know this. Hoff, take care, buddy. Have a good night. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Uh, the big signers in the Signature Series one, I don't know. Um, it will be released tomorrow with them. He just let me know the date. Uh, I've known the products were coming. Um, I purposefully try not to read the hit list so that I'm surprised. Um, part of my, I don't know, for lack of a better term, charm, is the fact that I'm literally surprised and excited about hits. So if they tell me that, you know, oh, hey, uh, Donnie Wahlberg from New Kids signed this, I'm going to be less excited then if I hit the Donnie Wah Wahlberg and go, oh my God, my favorite NKOTB member. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ding dong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll play yeah, yeah, ding dong. Uh, sneakers are out. I think they're out and they're sold out. I mean, I know this. Because I literally have one right here. Uh, this is somebody's personal break that still hasn't gotten back to me. So I'm fairly certain they're out. Ah, blue, man. I dig it. I think they're out and sold out, but I'd have to double check. Uh, let me see. Where would I find that? I think I can find active and old inventory. Thank you, Trav. I will see you tomorrow, man. I think they're sold out. I think they're already gone. I do see there are some group breaks of it uh, that are in the works. Let me see if they gave me dates for those. Let me see if I can get you some insider info. Yes, 
Yeah, and and that's the thing. So, um, the skates. There's. I asked that before because I've seen cards that have a piece of the blade of the skate in them. Um, and I wondered why they didn't do more of that. Somebody told me there was something with the skates. Either they reuse the same skates quite frequently because they break them in and then keep them for half a season or whatever. Um, I don't remember what it was. There's something to do with There's a reason skates aren't out, a ton of them out there. Uh, it's easy to find helmets, gloves, jerseys, sticks, fighting straps. Um, like, all of that stuff's easy. Uh, but skates are extremely hard to come by. I'll ask the question again tomorrow and see if anybody can answer it for me. Just remind me tomorrow, uh, and I'll hopefully have an answer. But there was, there was, there was something weird about skates. Uh, anyway, it's two after one. I'm going to go home. It's my birthday. I might have one of those hired ciders before I go to sleep. Only one. I really wouldn't want more than one. Uh, but it's definitely a possibility. So, uh, listen, I love each and every one of you. Uh, and because I love you, I want to see you tomorrow. So everybody be safe. Uh, come by. Thank you, Tommy. Come by. Hang out. I will be here. I am working. And the blades get replaced. Gotcha. Yeah, and that's kind of what I figured. Because when I played hockey, I mean, my, I had my skates for two seasons. And all they did is just re-edge them. So, uh, thanks, Julian. Appreciate it. All right, everybody. So, be safe out there. I want to see you tomorrow. Look both ways when you're crossing the street and all that other happy stuff. Uh, take care. I will see you in mm, 18 hours. All right, everybody. Thank you for the birthday wishes.